A Rockford mom is lucky to be alive after being shot in front of her kids. May 29th, Tara Hillary was getting her young boys into their car seats when she took a bullet to the chest. Now on the mend, Tara sat down with Michelle Rave to reflect on the experience. And Michelle, she tells you this was supposed to be a special day. What began as a family day full of celebrations leads to a traumatizing experience no family ever wants to witness. I spoke with a local mother who recalls the moment she nearly lost her life. It felt like an eternity and it felt like seconds at the same time. Caught on video, a moment no family wants to experience. Mother of two, Tara Hillary, was shot. I go turn around walk to the car and I noticed a guy walking behind my car. Um, so I turned to go around the front. I heard a gunshot. What was supposed to be a joyous day celebrating her brother's graduation ended with Hillary going to the emergency room. It was a very eerie feeling walking through the trauma or being wheeled into the trauma and seeing all of these like crowds of doctors and nurses waiting for me to get into my room. It was a very unreal feeling and um, I kept thinking, when am I going to wake up? Because this is not my life. This is a nightmare. Hillary says she immediately thought about her family, especially her three and six year old sons who were in the car. Are my kids OK? Or is my brother OK? Are they OK in the car? Is everybody OK in the car? Hillary's doctors say the bullet nearly left her paralyzed or even worse. I wasn't doing any harm. I was picking up my children. And I'm a human and I have family and I have people that I love and people that love me that and then the the act of the people who did it uh, it feels like they just have no value of human life and it's heartbreaking with the bullet still inside her body Hillary says she's grateful to be alive but says it will take time for her and her family to heal knowing that I was able to come home a day after getting shot I felt I feel very grateful and I feel very fortunate to have the outcome that I did. I also reached out to Rockford police. They tell me this is an ongoing investigation. There's also a GoFundMe set up to help the family. I'll have a link to that to this story on mystateline.com. Mimi.